Chapter 5 HTML tables and forms Important points 1 Tables in HTML 2 Table border 3 Cell padding and cell spacing 4 The BG color attribute 5 HTML forms Dear friends you must now have understood that we can format the text in HTML with the help of different tags Now I'll tell you about some other tags that we can use to create tables in our web page. Tables in HTML The HTML tables allow us to arrange data text, pre-formatted images, links, forms, fields, other tables, etc. into rows and columns of cells. Each table may have an associated caption that provides a short description of the table's purpose. Table rows may be grouped into a head, foot and body sections. Table cells may either contain header information. Cells may span multiple rows and columns. Table tags HTML tables always begin and end with a table tag. Greater than, table, less than, greater than, slash, table, less than. Table row and column tag a table element consists of three different HTML tags, including the table tag, TR, table rows, and the TD, table columns tag. HTML table code, table heading. Table heading can be defined using the TH element. This tag will be put to replace the TD tag, which is used to represent actual data. Normally, you will put your top row as table heading as shown below. Otherwise, you can use the th element at any place. Table border. The border attribute specifies if a border should be displayed around the table cells or not. The value 1 indicates borders should be displayed and that the table is not being used for layout purposes. Syntax. Table, border, equal to 1. Example, when you apply CSS border code to the table element, that is, the table tag, the border appears only around the actual table, not around the individual cells. Example, you can also change the border style to thick, dotted, dashed or anything that CSS understands. You can change its color too. Here are some examples. Example, Example, spanning multiple rows and columns. Use row span to merge multiple rows together. You can also call span to merge multiple columns merged together. Cell padding and cell spacing. With the cell padding and cell spacing attributes, you will be able to adjust the spacing between the table cells. Setting the cell padding attribute determines the space between a table cell border and the data within it. Whereas, cell spacing determines the space between each of the table cell. And now, we will change the cell padding of the table and remove the cell spacing from the previous example. This should clearly demonstrate the difference between cell padding and cell spacing. Table height and width. You can set a table width and height using the width and height attributes. You can specify table width or height in terms of integer value or in terms of percentage of the available screen area. Example The BG color attribute The BG color attribute is used to set the background color of an HTML element. BG color is one of those attributes that has become deprecated with the implementation of CSS, Cascading Style Sheets. HTML BG color code body BG color is equal to color name web colors our example uses the text value which is one of the three different types of color values that can be used with the BG color attribute below is a table of the 16 basic HTML color values that are available for us color name color code while the tables above illustrates only 16 colors, but it is not the limit to your color wheel. 
as mentioned html supports three different types of color values including text values numeric rgb and hexadecimal values example html forms html forms are used to input data from the user and pass it to a server an html form can contain input elements like text fields check boxes radio buttons submit buttons and more a form can also contain select lists text area field set legend and label elements the form tag is used to create an html form its syntax is as follow form dot input elements dot form html forms the input element the most important form element is the input element the input element is used to accept the information from the user an input element can vary in many ways depending on the type attribute an input element can be of type like text field checkbox password radio button submit button and more the most common input types are described below text fields input type equal to text defines a one line input field that a user can enter text into password field input type equal to password defines a password field radio buttons input type equal to radio defines a radio button radio buttons let a user select only one of a limited number of choices check boxes input type equal to check box defines a check box check boxes let a user select zero or more options of a limited number of choices submit button input type equal to submit defines a submit button a submit button is used to send the form data to a server the data is sent to the page specified in the form's action attribute the file defined in the action attribute usually does something with the received input drop down list the select element is used to create a drop down list the different list items can be defined with option element